Hey, what's up, DIYers? Mike Boards with the Mike Boards channel. Thank you for watching. We're talking Blix Vika Plus bicycles, and hopefully we can help you figure out why you have squeaking noises coming from your front tire. Let's go outside and take a look. All right, DIYers outside now, and in front of us is the Blix Vika Plus. This is the blue model. And in the event that you have a unique rubbing or squeaking sound coming from your front tire or the sound of rubber rubbing against the fender, that can be an easy adjustment. And direct your attention to the rear lower portion of your fender. You see this little bracket or bar mount and that slides all the way down and makes a turn here and goes into the housing. And that is secured in there by your little Allen screw right there. And what I recommend is grabbing an Allen key and loosening up that Allen bolt or screw and you can carefully slide this bar out of its housing. And as far as the amount you pull out, I I recommend starting at about an eighth of an inch or a quarter of an inch and then tightening this back up hop to the opposite side as you can see you've got an additional one right here go ahead and loosen that screw pull the bar out an eighth of an inch or a quarter of an inch out and that is going to allow you to shift this fender rearward further away from your actual tire in addition, you will want to adjust the top portion of your fender. And to do that, you've got an additional Allen screw right here. It is a different size than the lower ones. Match it up with your Allen key set, loosen it up, and to separate the fender further away from the tire, you will actually push the fender up. And as you can see, it's got more of an oval machine cut to the hole as opposed to circular cut. And that allows you to adjust this fender. And by making those two adjustments and getting that fender further away from your tire. Hopefully you will alleviate all unique and annoying and not normal sounds coming from that front tire. However, after you do this and you still have a rubbing sound, it may actually be your brake rotor and brake pads rubbing together. And that also is an easy adjustment. Check out the video link scrolling above. We go through that. From here, DIYers, hopefully this helps. Hey, do us a favor below the video. You will see that thumbs up icon. Click on that, like the video, subscribe to the channel. Definitely ring your YouTube bell. That would be very helpful to us. We'd really appreciate it. Thanks again for watching.